Hi you guys! Welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday! In today's video we are going to be following a drag makeup tutorial and more importantly it's going to be Miss Fame's drag makeup tutorial. So when I was Oh my gosh, this was probably a few years ago when I first started watching like the RuPaul Drag Race. And unfortunately I haven't kept up with it since like season one or two or three or four. I don't remember. It was back in high school. Like and after that, after I left the military, like I kind of didn't keep it, keep up with it. But Miss Fame was always my favorite. She was always my favorite. Like she, her style and her style of makeup is so clean and crisp and like it's not as... It looks more just clean and like womanly. I don't know. I don't know. Her drag is just so perfect to me. So that is who I wanted to emulate. And I went through all of like, you know, some of my favorites from there. But I had to, had to do Miss Fame. And there was a makeup look of hers that I did probably about two years ago now. That was like an exaggerated wing or cut crease. I don't think I filmed it. But I took a picture on Instagram and she actually liked my tweet. So I am really excited to do this video. So the video that I'm going to do is this um, New Wave 80s makeup tutorial. And it is just so stunning. And it's so different for some, from something that I would do just regularly on my channel. So I was like, let's go balls to the walls. So that is what we're going to be doing in this video. If you guys want to see my <laughs> my drag makeup tutorial, then please keep on watching. So I am starting the video now and she has a short wig on and it is so poppin'. So poppin'. This, this whole video is just so fun. I just love her. She's so perfect. Welcome back to another Painted Hello. by Fame. I am so excited okay. to jump into today's look. So here we go. Okay. Peace. So first thing to intensify the pigmentation will be overlaying. I'm going to use a lip liner as a base to create the color story for the eye. So I'm just using this NYX uh, Slide On Glide On and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme lip color in the shade um, Brick House because he's using like a red. And this, he's using a MAC red. And I don't have any of the MAC red, but look at this, you guys. Look at this. Like, ah, this is so freaking weird. But he said that he's using this as a base for the color story that he's going to be placing down. For the direction okay. of this video, I was truly inspired by the so 80s. So now he's using a pink uh, Pat Benatar color all wave. over his lid. This gave direction for me to So I'm going to use uh, another fame lip that liner. Never done before, so and this is in the shade. Fluorescent. Oh my gosh, I look like a fool. I hope I, I hope I look just as good as he does at the end of this video. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. After now priming the eye with the liners, I'm just taking oh, a close-up brush and I'm blending out so the fast. edges to really this diffuse it. This video is so fast. So you guys, this is my third time my watching his video. Like, I kid you not. Like, the first time I was going through his videos just trying to see what and who I wanted to emulate <laughs> and follow their tutorial, like... I watched the whole video through and then I'm like, okay, I think I could do this one. I think I could do it. And now I'm like, ah, I don't think I can. <laughs> oh my God, I don't think I can do it. But, um, I was, I was excited to do this video, but he just moves so goddamn fast in this video. And it's like, I understand that tutorials are like, even for my videos, tutorials are more like entertaining than they are like instructional purposes now nowadays but like when I first started watching YouTube like tutorials were literally how I learned how to do makeup so <laughs> I need him to slow his roll because right now sir I mean ma'am I am looking a fucking mess so he's using Pat McGrath like pigments but I don't have any of those because I'm broke and I can't afford, I can't afford any Pat McGrath anything. So I am going to be using this Profusion Metallic Eye Pigment in co like this coppery shade. It's called Opulent. And he's using like a Pat, Ma Pat McGrath Copper Pigment. But I figured since 
I don't own that. I'll just find some things that are similar to those. So my look might not be like his. All right, okay, so he said that he is applying some of those. Product. Like, so oh, excited about. Hopper 002 shit, this pigment is. just beneath the brow and this extending pigment. past the framework of my brow structure. And Oh crap, okay, so he's applying this to his brow bone. Oof, that was a lot over there. <laughs> I guess this is fun because I would never, ever, ever do something like this. And that's the fun and drag. You can literally, like, play up whatever you want. But for the lid color, I don't have the Pat McGrath blush either, so I'm going to use this. Concrete Minerals Angel Dust Pigment to dust all over my lid. From lash to socket, I'm applying Fuchsia I'm 002 eye blush you can see that's really, just really, to really seamlessly light. merge those two color stories. But he pretty much used this to like set that pigment. And now I'm going to dust um, Brat, another Concrete Minerals pigment. This is like a pure, pure, pure pink. Like a hot pink and kind of put that over the top of it so I'm kind of making this my own kind of not but kind of because me me and Miss Fame we don't have the same product so I gotta make this my own so as I said he's moving really fast and now he's using a Pat McGrath liner which I don't have so I'm going to use this NYX Slide On Glide On liner, and he's eyeliner. like and diffuse putting those out his edges crease, with a Cosette brush. And then diffusing the edges. Oh, slow down. I'm looking up. Okay, I cannot let Miss Fame down, so I need to work this out. He didn't use any black to blend this out either. Like, right now, mine is looking like a purple. Like, his doesn't look like that on camera. Like, his looks good. Maybe I just need to keep blending. Like, I wish he gave me more instructions. I need to look like you, Faye. So now, now he's doing face, skin, but he didn't prime. I'm going to be blocking out my beard so first and he's blocking out his That's beard. That's a good start when you do drag. You want to get rid of that I shadow. Have that, so. And this is a great way to camouflage. Should I still prime? He didn't tone, say. Really... Okay, he didn't prime, but or he at least didn't show that he primed. But I'm just gonna put a little bit on my face because the foundations that he's going in with are really, really full coverage. And I want to have something on my skin. Eliminate. So he's using Krylon TV paint sticks, which I have. Skin. I have 11W. Now I can overlay my foundation, making sure to concentrate most of the pigmentation toward the lower half of my face. And then he's blending it out with a beauty blender. And I have a few. I have 11W. And I have NG2, which I kind of mixed the two. Because I'm kind of like, I'm not as light, but I'm not as dark. Okay, so he blended his foundation in blend like with nobody's his business. beauty blender, which I've never blended this Krylon foundation out with my beauty blender because I actually enjoy using a brush, but I am following a tutorial, so I'm going to do everything that he does. Okay, Miss Fame, what is next? My foundation doesn't look as good as his because it's way too red. But we're just going to play it. So now to highlight, highlight or brighten up the canvas, skin, a central like skin enhancer by Kevin Kwan, which I don't own, right so I'm going to use this Lancome Tint Adult Ultra Wear Concealer, which is way too golden for the foundation the that I'm wearing. Center of the forehead, but we already um, look terrible. Down at the top so of the, my the lip and chin. He said to use these key points here, really help to bring out the femininity in a masculine list. face. Down the bridge of the nose. Now I like to use the beauty blender, and I can use the same sponge for chin. all areas of the face. 
I've also been blessed to have the Beauty Blender sponsor my makeup tour and they have these amazing new tiny sponges I've yet to try. But I could still do all of the detailing by squeezing the sponge to shape and it really works on every detail including the nose. Oh wow, he's done already. Oh, he blended it all out. Oh! Slow down for me. So I'm blending this all out with the Beauty Blender. And he said that highlighting these areas would give the face a more feminine appearance. And I am a female, so I'm gonna give it an even more feminine appearance. And then he said he squeezes the sponge to blend out the nose. Okay, Miss Fame, what is next? Now to contour for now couture, I'm going to be using an angled Cosette brush. I like to use a brush to I'm apply the contour. I'm using all Cosette brushes, as I but apply, I don't have any of that. And it makes my and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour. Delicious. When sculpting the nose, use less dark product than you think, so you have less nose. blending, and it just looks more natural in the finished. And he product. did under the jaw. Oh, he's blending. Oh god. Okay. Hold on a second. Is this still gonna be the biggest forehead? Oh, goodness. I'm gonna look so terrible after this is done. <laughs> okay, he also did his jaw, which I kinda need to do because I have a double chin growing down there. So. And he did the sides of his chin, like that. And he does his nose, too. All right, Miss Fame. A pro so tip for nose contour blending, again, be very right? mindful not to overlap yeah, your contour blend. into your highlight zone. Keep it clean. Okay, don't overlap our contour with our highlight zone. This is so extra, like I can't, I freaking can't, I've never ever ever done my foundation and stuff so heavy like this is drag <laughs> this is drag you guys now securing this cream foundation i'm using a loose powder specifically the nars loose powder in snow which is a bright light high coverage powder and i prefer to start using a brush so you get a more skin finish rather than um, a cakey mask effect which can happen okay. when you dip your pad and over pack it onto the skin. Nice It'll look very finished and oh, refined in the end goal. Fast. Okay, so he said to use a high coverage setting powder to set the highlighted areas as opposed to what I generally do which is use my beauty sponge and press it into the skin and he said doing it like this will give a more skin like appearance which all of these techniques you guys that most of us vloggers do on a regular basis highlighting and contouring and all that stuff is all taken from the drag world so like that's why they always look so damn perfect so i might have to do this more often as opposed to like baking and cooking which they also do okay so he also went underneath but I don't know if he did it with a sponge oh my gosh I haven't done this in years I don't know if he did this with a sponge or a brush but he went all the way down okay he went all the way to his mouth and then now he's using like a bigger brush And when I secure the, the cream powder? contours, I use the largest brush I have with a deeper shade of loose powder, and, and that gives a very diffused finish, it? which I love. Okay, so 
now he's using a powdered contour. Now to okay, reestablish the depth contour, over the top gosh. of the loose powders, I'm going to use a powder oh, cool. contour. And that's going to really sculpt out the face the way I like it. After he sets it with the powder. Let's illuminate he this face. Really so all of highlight. the key points, the front of the cheekbones, the top of the lip, use the tip of your finger to kind of concentrate some light into the nose, but not too much, and uh, the center of the forehead. And we get this beautiful this radiant glow. Too. So what, just the whole forehead? Or, or what? Then he snatched the nose. Okay, so he put blue on the bottom, you guys, and he didn't show me what blue he put on the bottom. So I'm just going to use this Shimmer Shadow by City Color Cosmetics and put that on the bottom, I guess. I don't know if he put eyeliner under there too or what. I'm gonna use another slide on glide on pencil by NYX and put that in the waterline. Okay, so Fame came back on the camera with her brows already done. So also my brows are done. Now he's using that caviar gel, gel liner eyeliner everywhere. I'm applying it through the brow hairs at depth it. since I'm wearing a black wig. All over that lash line in a nice, line smudgy, in a nice way, smudgy way and way. into the waterline as well. So I get a gorgeous internal smoky eye with all that surrounding color. It's one of the best black gel liners oh, I've ever shit. used. Oh, he put black in the bottom. Oh, oops. How do I watch this video three times and not remember that? Oh, well, I guess we're going to have a nice cobalt blue let me continue okay, my obsession with this liner so now, not okay, only did so i use it in the brows and along the waterline of the eye i'm again. going to be using it to fill in and define a beautiful lip shape it's a very versatile product and it's also extremely long wear creamy at the application i really have a fond uh, love affair for this liner Now he said he's overlaying with OCC, like a lip tar, with OCC's I don't own one of those, I don't own any of those, it's like, sickly. I'm going to have to use something different. These new NYX vinyl liquid lipsticks came out, and I was sent them, so I'm going to use this shade Nightwalker, and just put it on my lips. And then I'm going to put this Urban Decay Revolution lip gloss over the top of that. In tribute to Pat, I'm obsessed with this look. It's absolutely major. Get into it. It's unique. To it's one of the coolest things I've ever created. This. And um, if you're interested in it and other products like it, you can also check out my other video using Pat McGrath Labs, Black and Gold. Thank you so much, guys. Follow, like, and subscribe, and show me your looks on Instagram. Big kisses. All right, y'all. This is my tribute to Miss Fang. I, I don't know. Oh my gosh. I am so like, 
wow like it is definitely different definitely different um I'm glad I could try it you know what I mean like it's definitely not your typical beauty vlogger video so I'm glad I could try it I'm glad you guys encouraged me to do a more drag makeup tutorial because definitely the skin was very extra and drag and I did things that I didn't do like contour and the eyes and the lips and it was just all a lot like I'm getting stuff all on my teeth too so Thank you guys so much for encouraging me. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe before you go. I'm going to share this video on Twitter and hopefully Miss Fame will see it. I pray that she does because I love her. But um, yeah, so thank you guys so much. I love you all and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.